All right, guys, what's going on? Today we are going to talk about the Railblazer camera mounts for my 2018 Hobie Pro Angler. Um, first off, I got to say that these are the most sturdiest mounts I've ever owned. Um, they hold my camera equipment very well, and there's no shake or uh, slump or anything in the mounts themselves. Um, up here in the front, we have the Railblazer 150 uh, camera boom mount with the Railblazer rail mount. Uh, this rail mount, super sturdy, doesn't move, won't roll on the rail uh, while you're uh, paddling or anything. And then these platforms up here where you can mount your cameras and uh, in different configurations as you please. Over here we have the Railblazer 600 camera mount um, along with, again, the Railblazer rail mount on there. Um, this one kind of gives me a little wider angle uh, than the front wheel. It's got a longer pole so I can move it around as I please to get different shots. On the back side here we have another mount uh, that holds my fish finder. Now what I did was I took the arm right here off of another 150 mount and I shortened it. That way I could sit there and poke at my electronics while I'm sitting on the kayak. Plus it gave me an extra mount for the other 150 mount so I could get a little further extension. Alright guys, so to remove any one of these from the actual uh, H-Rail mount, all you do is click this little button to the side and it pulls out like that. That way, you know, you can click it back, put this little rubber piece in there and you're good to go. None of your, cam uh, none of your equipment's gonna get in the way when you transport, none of it's gonna fall out. Now, if you happen to leave it in there while you are traveling, this thing is sturdy enough to where it's not going to come out. I mean, I'm yanking on this thing pretty hard. So, the locking system with the starport um, of the mount gives it that great uh, sturdiness when fishing out on the water. Alright, so these gray little pins right here, all you do is pop it out and those come apart. Each one of these little gray bands is a locking system that you can lock and unlock. All right guys, so that's the complete walkthrough of how I have my cameras mounted um, using the Railblazer mounts along with the Railblazer camera booms uh, 150 and 600. Uh, I hope this helps everybody. If you're uh, indecisive between, you know, which brand to use I would prefer to go through Railblazer just because of the security of my camera equipment we you know you know you have uh, hundreds of dollars in these cameras you don't want to lose one in the water just because your mounting system failed if you like this video hit that like button please leave a comment below letting me know what system you use to secure your fish finders and your camera equipment, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're notified when I put out a video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.